One filter becomes the red part of the image, one becomes the green part, and the third is the blue part. Once combined, each color represents a particular wavelength of light and hence a particular element in the gas cloud. In addition to being a pretty picture, a narrowband image is also scientifically interesting. which is why these types of filters are used on the Hubble Space Telescope and other professional instruments. So, what could we hope to image under city lights using narrowband filters? Let me take you on a galactic tour through the eye of a 92 millimeter refracting telescope and imagine the thousands of years it took for the light from distant galaxies and star forming regions to reach our little refractor. Thank you. 